hey guys welcome to protocol this point okay so in this android tutorial uh, we're gonna build an app by making use of jetpack composer a new feature of android studio uh, uh, to build a, a jetpack compose project you may need to install android studio that is canary 9 version here it is first i will show you the demo of an app uh, this is an app i have created it is a simple incrementing app for example here as you can see button there is a button there are two buttons to reset and to add one add by one as you can see it is getting added by one and reset will reset it to zero uh, this is the app we are going to create for a demonstration of uh, uh, jetpack composer okay so now we will create a project in android studio canary 9 create a new project and from this template project template section uh, select uh, empty composer activity uh, these all activities are normal android activities and this is the empty composer activity jetpack activity hit next give a name to your project I have named it as Jetpack Compose. Minimum SDK is uh, 5.1. Okay, so now it is getting built. Uh, when we build new project, uh, it might take some time to build the Gradle files. Okay, I will just fast forward over here. Okay, so now our project is been ready. Uh, this is the default code given by jetpack team team okay uh, as you can see one second we'll just this is the output of this code default code it has just printed a message on the screen of an android phone okay uh, in jetpack compose there are two building blocks that is that are more important the one first thing is the composable and the second thing is this uh, preview uh, this composable theme is uh, to convert any function into ui uh, okay and this preview uh, preview tag is been used uh, to show a uh, a preview of an app design in uh, emulator in this uh, ID okay so I will just remove all this code now we don't need it okay so now I have removed all the code default code here in set content view I will create a material app I will make use of material theme and in material theme I will create my own function that is my app this thing and this my comp my uh, my app function i will convert it to composable composable means the all the this all this function will be created into ui design okay and in this function after that we will uh, give it also a preview so that we can view the ui design of that here in this design section okay so here i will create one column widget your column widget will have um, uh, one top bar in top bar we will give a title to a text okay so now as you can see this is the app bar with the text over there 
it is getting uh, refreshed uh, because it takes some time it's okay uh, so we will just continue our coding after that uh, this title bar uh, we need a text view this is a text view okay in text view we need a text to be shown the text will be collect time is equal to dollar and here we will pass a variable so so we need a variable to be created if you you and variable count uh, this variable will be of cut of type mutable state mutable state will be of type integer state manager with initial value as 0 okay and we will pass over here okay i don't know why this is taking too time too much time it's okay we will close it then we will create one button when it is pressed uh, the variable get incremented by one here in on click method we need to increment the counter plus is equal to one it, is, it will get incremented by one okay sorry not over here this should be in this on click method and here to give text to a button we will make use of text widget this will be the text that will be printed on the button ok so now we will run this app on my device Uh, so you can see the output over here uh, but i need to change the color of the text over okay for that here in text widget color is equal to color will will make it white now we will run it So now when I press the button it get incremented by one okay uh, to create a reset button just copy this code and paste it over here and in on click method we'll set it back to zero okay and we will text uh, we will change the text to reset okay and uh, and we can also give a, a background cover to the uh, button okay so now we will rename it Yeah, as you can see it is getting incremented by one and when i press re reset button it is getting reset okay uh, that's all for this video 
uh thanks for watching uh, please do subscribe protocol to spoint